Hello, good evening. Welcome to another episode of the live stream. I'm so glad to have you joining me in the studio this evening. This is my learn to paint journey and every week I join you in my studio or I invite you to join me in my studio as I work on a painting. Over the next year I'll be working on a series of paintings of the Black Hills and so many of the paintings we work on in this live stream are studies or sketches for that collection. So I, as I said, I'm so glad to have you welcome again this evening and we're going to continue our work on the painting we started last week and maybe some others um, in line with that objective. So, so glad to have you. Um, I think that's it. I hope you had a good week. Let's jump in and I am going to first put on my apron so that I don't let me switch over to I'm not sure which, I guess, which camera. There we go. I'll switch over there. That way I can get my canvas camera set up for you. Hope you had a good week. We had a crazy, spring in the mountains is really strange. The temperatures bounce up and down literally daily. Um, so yesterday evening, we were under a winter storm advisory all weekend, but it didn't really show up till yesterday afternoon, evening. And I guess it snowed all night because we woke up this morning to about five to six inches of snow. But by the time it stopped about noon, it was already melting and the sun is out now. The streets are all melted, mostly the sidewalks are melted and it's melting very quick. So, so bizarre. I think tomorrow it's supposed to be like 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And then by the end of the week, it's supposed to be almost 70 degrees up here on the mountain. So um, yeah, that's what happens, but it is kind of disconcerting if you're not used to it, but um, spring is, that's how we kind of know spring is here because the temps can wildly fluctuate as well as the, the weather, I suppose. So, let me get this set up and you can see what we did last week um, as well as what we're kind of going to work on a little bit. Let's see. Let me get this all set up. Okay, whoops. There we go. I think we're set. It helps if I raise this camera up and you look down on the, because it, it tends to be less of a glare um, on the, A less of a glare on the painting we're working on so let's see what we can do maybe that'll help all right the thing i did not t say that i usually say is you can participate in the live stream on uh, through the comments wherever you are watching us so feel free to um participate by chatting me up in the comments. I really like to engage with you all. So you can ask questions, you can make comments, make suggestions. Let me put the reference photo back. So this is a reference photo of, I've been exploring lights and shadow and the interplay of shadow. This is something I really appreciate about the forest where I live, walking on the trails. I love the dappling of the light through the trees. Um, and so I've been playing with that in my, um, 
in my paintings and really thinking about this. Last night I had a new idea for the um, this collection I'm working on. And it has, I'm not gonna really spill the beans because I need to kind of think through it a little bit, but it has to do with perspective, still landscapes, but um, something about perspective. All of this is in an effort this year, I'm really focused on refining my skills, trans, you know, transferring my skills to oil paints, learning oil paints, which I'm getting there, um, but also, really refining my skills as a painter. Hi there, Lynn. Thanks so much for popping in. Feel free to stay as long as you'd like. This is really low key, just kind of like a open house, pop in and pop out at your convenience. But I'm so glad you decided to join me. And so I deeply appreciate that. Thank you so much. I have been teaching myself to paint for the last about three years. And so, and um, the beginning of this year, I made the switch from acrylics to oil. So I'm really learning oils. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing in that regard, um, but we're getting there. I cleaned my little pallet box today, deep cleaned it. So I scraped all the paint out and really tried to clear up the residual. So um, most all my paint, I'm gonna have to replenish. So that's what I am doing right now. I did not go to school for art, Lynn. Um, actually, I never, I drew maybe, I think once or twice, I drew like in a school competition when I was a kid. Um, and I painted one um, a la prima painting or two um, when I was a, a child. There was a lady, actually the town where I live now, I used to visit um, my grandparents. And in the summer, my grandma paid for my brother and I to do a painting with a lady here in town or outside of town and she painted a la prima similar to like bob ross style um so kind of formulaic but it was fun because you learn kind of how to you learn some basics so yeah that's what we did when we were kids my brother and i so that's basically my only experience and I never um, never explored art till quarantine and then just on a whim and then I found out I really loved it. So I love painting, just learning watching. Yeah, it is, uh, that's how I started. I started watching on YouTube and then I started um, mimicking YouTube tutorials, and then one day, I was a teacher at the time, one of my students said, Mr. Steve, you gotta quit copying other people's stuff and you have to start painting your own. And so I started learning from references and now I'm really working to try to develop my own style and exploring that, what that means. So yeah. Um, Oh, that is so kind. I, I don't produce a lot of content other than this um, normally, uh, but every Monday night, typically I am here in my studio at 6 p.m. Mountain Time in the United States. I don't know wherever you are, but you're welcome to join. And those, of course, are hosted on YouTube, so you can always catch those after the fact as well. Okay, I think those are the main colors I have in this painting. So, I saw, hey mom and dad, welcome. So glad to have you. There's a few more people popping in, so glad to have you all joining, even the silent lurkers, but you can participate. 
um, in the comments wherever you're watching us. Feel free to say hello. Uh, North Carolina. Okay, so yeah, I'm, it's 8 p.m. there, um, I assume, depending if most of North Carolina is in the East Coast, so Eastern time. So yeah, 8 p.m. Eastern is my... All right, let's switch over. This is the painting we're working on. Again, you're looking at it from... Well, let me see if I can lower it just a bit. without creating a lot of glare. Um, and I, I'm not totally happy. We kind of blocked in this painting um, last week, but I want to kind of work on this a little bit. I am really happy with the quality of the brushwork as far as like the um, you can see the brushwork. I really like that style. So I don't want to lose too much of that, but it is kind of blocky and there's, it's kind of messy. So I just want to, because this ended up being where it was basically a la prima, it was wet on wet and it was wet everywhere. So I want to go back and work on this a little bit and refine some of this um, this evening so we'll work on it for a while and I may switch over to another if we get to the point where we are you know there's too too much um, wet paint and it's just muddy then we will switch over to another paint another painting but I'm just gonna start out with actually I'm gonna start out I think with a number 10 flat brush and we will just start to to reestablish my a, a whimsical style awesome i'm gonna have to i will try to remember to uh, find you after this on youtube and check out your work or if you have Let's see. I wonder. Let do do do. My software is messing up where it is. I'm putting these comments back on here because the software is a. Uh, let me it's supposed to have a background so that you can see it easier style let's see and it's supposed to have i post many mixed video oh cool yeah i'll have to see your art shadow color i don't know why it keeps disappearing Oh, perfect. That's perfect. Okay. I need... I don't know why it's now suddenly shown, showing no background, but hopefully y'all can read the comments when they pop up. It's supposed to have a background on it, but it must have been an adjustment. I don't know. Okay. So let's look at what's going on here. What don't we like? Um, I want to, I think I want to go and work back to front. So I am not a good artist. Well, you know, neither am I. And that's so subjective, of course. So I think art, being a good artist is dependent on what your objective is. Like, you know, there's a component that is very real about what what is the purpose of your art. And this is more philosophical. Like, 
what do you want from your art and what are you hoping to accomplish with it? And so I understand that feeling of not and not being quote good based on what, you know, what other people might as far as, you know, capacity. But that's also the wonderful thing about art. Like you could paint your whole life and still not be quote good or be constantly getting good because it does take so, I mean, you're always learning and improving and there's always opportunity to learn new techniques or new just a new perspective so hang in there and do it for why you want to do it like if that makes sense like make yourself happy in that regard okay let's see i am going to mix a little of our A little of our shadow color. Here. It's just um, burnt umber and ultramarine blue. And let's kind of look at this. How I'm going to raise this so I can see the top of the painting. Um, how can I establish some of these? I want to, hey Yogesh, I'm looking forward to seeing you in a week or so, a couple weeks. Okay. There, and I'm re-establishing some of this because I definitely want a foundation for this tree so that it floats kind of out there. And let's get a little bit of this. See you soon, my friend. We'll mix this. My um, right here, you all can't see it, but the medium I have is basically just safflower oil and um, and I think it's non scented. Um, mineral oil. I'm trying to make here some some shape here. I'm trying to be a little intentional about that.
but I don't want to get too in these areas. Okay, let me, oh, sorry. Let me, oh, you got really heavy glare on that, don't you? Yeah, that's why. Let's see if we can lower this a little bit. There we go, and then set. There, you don't have as much glare. You're gonna have a little distortion up here, but I think it's easier to, uh, it's easier because there's less glare on the, on the painting. If you're looking down at it a little bit. Okay. At least that's my, my attempt. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm gonna set my dark brush over here and get another flat brush, a little bit, not quite as small, but pretty close. And I wanna do Um, 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 um. Oh, I want to work on the sky a little bit and the highlights for these trees. So that's kind of messed up earlier. We'll put the yellow right there since we have kind of the yellow ochre over there. This is a cad lemon, so super powerful. Oh, you can't really see. Y'all can't really see my. I'm going to raise, try to raise this up a little bit so that you can see more of my. There we go. There you can see my palette bar even though it's in shadow so this is the cad yellow and this is my yellow ochre and then we have a burnt sienna raw or burnt umber maybe it's burnt sienna i just i don't know i just paint with these colors i don't really know what they are um Put a little bit of cerulean blue over here so we can work on our sky. I don't remember what that, what's that color? It is burnt sienna. Burnt sienna and burnt umber. Ultramarine cerulean. Okay. Now we're going to take this, let's put it over here, just out of the way, some of this, and a little medium, not much. I have these mediums off to the side. I think I showed you before, but I have stage one, which is the thinnest medium. I'm now on the second layer doing stage two, and then I, I have stage three, which is half and half. Um, so it's pretty oily. Um, and what that does is it allows me to automatically adhere to the thick over lean rule in painting, which is we want our thickest layers on the top as they dry. Otherwise, if you have thin layers on top, as the layers under them dry, they will actually crack, or they can actually crack. And so, and I'm saturating pretty heavily this sky. You'll notice the layer under it is kind of a greenish color. 
And that will allow us to kind of redraw this a little bit. And I'm covering up some of because I went kind of crazy with these uh, trees. So I'm going to cover up some of those because I definitely want this guy in the middle to be the focal point. We can continue kind of working with him. getting into wet paint there so Now I'll probably cover this up again. I'm this is where I'm learning. Like I'm going I can tell I'm going back to my um I'm going back to my acrylic painting days um where I'm like, "Oh, I can just over this because it'll dry quick and it doesn't dry quick anymore so but I wasn't really happy with this sky so that will help a little bit now I'm mixing just a little bit of yellow ochre in so we get a little bit of a greenish color I'm going to bring that down and blend that a little bit into this because the sky shouldn't be totally blue especially as it gets closer to the horizon it's less saturated because it's going through more of the atmosphere so This will be an ongoing, again, this is kind of a study, not kind of, it is a study, but it gives me a chance to really think through all of these challenges before I paint a larger painting. Now, we have some dark, again, we're just coming in and establishing our darks and lights again, because we basically did a block in, a heavy block in, but it was a block in last week. So this week, we wanna come again and do some of our lights. Although, this isn't particularly light. I probably should have used my dark brush. Oh, well. Now,
what I want to do is bring some of this yellow in and see what that does. That yellow is so strong that it will give us light, light, light. But let's make it a little orangish light. Let's see. Muchas gracias, Michi. All right. Now, we're going to try to I want a line, essentially, a line of this light highlight So I want this to really stand out. Now it looks, uh, I don't know. It's not doing what I want it to do. This is too dark. looks like a just looks like a blob and I'm losing some of that contrast but we'll see that's why I do this to learn what works and what doesn't back here to the darks we'll mix that I want to come up here and put again like this is so this is part of the fun to me though is like I look over here and I'm like ugh, I don't like that but let me just let it sit and come over here and work on this section which I really think I can improve. I'm going to remove that tree right there because I think it's in the wrong place. And I think it needs to come over. over here. Okay. So and I 
think that's what helps this see now it might be a bit bright thank you we're getting there Live and learn, right? That's the goal. Okay, I'm just going to set that to the side. Let that sit for a minute. And come back here. Because... Now I can take, again, this dark, create this dark shadow color. And we can carve out some of these other shapes. And all of a sudden, the tree starts to appear. I was telling you all that I have this I had this idea last night for because I am trying to develop what is gonna you know what my style is what are the things that I like to paint and how do I like to paint them and I have this idea that's just a fledgling idea that I need to do some exploration of, but I want to do some impact pieces. So I want to do some pieces of art or paintings that are like kind of the wow type pieces and so that's um, but I wasn't sure like what I want to figure out what is the style or the type of art that is recognizable like that I like to paint, but that is recognizable as mine. You know, when someone sees it, they're gonna be like, ah, I bet Steve painted that. Um, and it's not so much that it's like, oh, you know, I want people to recognize me as the artist, but it's, what do I want, what's an impact, what's the impact, and what's the, what do I want to say, and why does it matter, you know, what do I want to communicate with my art, that's more 
what this exploration is about. Okay. Part of what I'm also working out is how to strike the right balance with value variations within, in this case, shadow. And those of you that have watched me the last several, well, really the last month or two, work on um, paintings of um, snow it's the same idea and I'm struggling in the same way, but I am confident in that I can figure it out because I remember when I first started painting, I had no idea how to um, paint clouds. And I was so intimidated by clouds, not intimidated, but just like I couldn't get it. It was so frustrating, but I am sure Okay, I was just doing that little ridge that sits down in the... I am going to play with the shapes here and actually put what appears to be a little rock in this corner or some sort of and I really think a lot of this is going back and forth between the light and the shadow, like figuring out what should be lighter, what should be darker. Okay. I'm going to set the dark aside for a minute just to take a break. And I want to come in here and really work on the background, the light background more, because um, I don't like how it ended up. Probably should have started that first.
Thank you, Les Faida. I appreciate you stopping by. kind of just done a gradient of values from lighter to darker and then added a little more red tones over here on the end so it's kind of orangish um, because all of those look different so they're up against each other in the Again, all of this is constant experimentation. put things what you put next to what if I put the red up here back here it looks washed out but up here it looks warm and kind of breaks up these shadows but look how dark it looks over here kind of gives that gives that kind of warm edge to the shadows over here so it shows that these are highlights but they're shadow highlights if that makes sense and I missed it so okay introducing a little more red gives me these really cool but then over here it looks like it's bright sunlight so I'll have to play around with this it really is what depends on what's around it And then you do too much and it gets washed out. Si, Michi, es un, um, uh, como se dice trail? Es un, uh, uh, oh, que es la palabra? No puedo recordar. Um, uh, es una es una es un lugar uh, cerca de mi casa en, en lo, las montañas oh, uy 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 um, sí sí es un lugar muy bonito en mi en mi uh, cerca de mi casa
y me gusta caminar por esta um, no sé la palabra de no sé por qué mi memoria se falta entonces bueno es cerca de mi casa sí y es un lugar real I was just responding to Michi. They asked, um, where was this photo taken? Um, and asked if it was a, a specific place. So I said, yes, it's a place next near to my house that I like to walk. And I can't remember the word in Spanish for, um, I guess I could say el camino, es un camino, but it's, a uh, like the path or the, that seems like a kind of old fashioned word, but yeah, I get to practice a little Spanish. Gracias por, uh, por Okay, I'm distracted, sorry. Okay, I want to step back. I really, so I like what's happening, but it's also getting muddy in the middle again when I added all the red. Si, un bosquejo, um, yep. Y vivo en un bosque nacional, y si podemos decir un bosque nacional de los Estados Unidos, en, que se llama Black Hills National Forest. Y es un lugar muy, muy bonito. I was just saying that this is in the National Forest, or that I live in the National Forest, and it's a really, really pretty place. I'm just beginning to suggest shapes in these tr in this tree here. There. Every time at the it's just a neat more and more of a neat opportunity to Try something new. All of these individual Then 
individual areas will It will eventually and you put these darker tones against the lighter you go back and forth That's not really working. Let me step back several feet. Okay. We really need, at least from the way my eye is seeing it, we really need these dark areas to pop. So we really need very clear distinctive dark spaces in the middle of our lighter spaces. Okay, again, just, I know I say this, going back and forth, light to dark. I'll have to probably reestablish again and again, but you want that Someday I'm just going to be able to paint shadows just completely expertly. I think.
don't know how to these when I put this dark brown up against there it looks so light that I don't know how to unless there's I do more of a brown bring more of the brown into the dark here but where it's dark because I just feel like I'm back where we started mudtastic So it's like I learned something and then I didn't. But there's no other choice but to, you gotta keep like just playing and exploring. Because it just, every once in a while, then you do something, you're like, oh, that worked. I love it. That's what I have to, okay. want to, I think, fix this a little bit. Oh, that was not a good life choice. Not a good life choice. I should have come over here and done this. Now it's all a mess. Okay, well, we have to wait till that dries then. But it gives us the idea. That's where we're going. Okay, now we need to sort of a
this will take for sure another layer but I think it's looking better than it did or at least I am getting more happy with it so let's do this let's set these brushes aside this is the Homestake Railroad grade um, there's parts where it you can tell the railroad went used to go through and it actually in the reference you can see it actually went through and then down around the bend but um, yeah that's where it is it is a railroad bed okay I am going to now I think take green and a little bit of blue and yellow to brighten it up so I have a bluish greenish highlight color this is a really brightly um, a very brightly saturated color so I want to take this and I want to start to I think draw the highlights up here and then when we come back with the next layer we'll be able to what it will do is it'll put this behind or should put this behind a little bit behind there but it will then we can put some highlights on top of it that are more kind of yellow. if it's actually going to work the way I want it to but that's what we're playing with we just see let's see now now well, it's not really I want it to look like there's sunlight coming through there. So I think I'm going to have to darken this. This seems like it's too bright. Um, but. Yes, I would love to. Next time, well, maybe we could even do it 
if we can fit it in this week if you're free Wednesday or Thursday maybe I think you work Thursday though that that will be a lot of fun it's gonna be a good hiking day Excuse me, sorry, right in your ears. And I even have a mute button. So I should have used it. I have to figure out how to This is what this is the part I'm still figuring out about oils is how to blend them. Oh, now see I overpainted that. These are about right. But you can overpaint things so quickly. Cuz you want want those dark contrasts that's what makes the the light stand out is the dark contrasts you need them okay we're just gonna have to wait a little bit because that's overpainted but I think the tree is a little too much because it it just looks so Christmas tree-ish. But I think we're gonna put another bush in here or something we'll have to see just looks very like perfect Maybe that's it. We're gonna have to come in and redo it again. Redo, redo, let it dry a little bit, redo. Okay. I don't know what else I can do right now that will that would actually work
Oops, I messed that up. Just by putting a little Gives us a little well, that's a little too blue, but I'm just kind of messing around now because I don't really know what I'm doing. Um. So I'm testing different things. Basically right now I'm testing can I tone this down so that it looks like it's in the shadow but in front of that highlighted tree, but I don't think that's working. Because it's just giving a different color. Someday I'm gonna know all these things and I'm gonna get it right. But for now, it is what it is. Da, 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 da. just starts getting muddier and muddier. I just need to put a stop in it and come back to it. All right, I think that's where we're gonna stop tonight. So much there.
let this dry. Then we'll see what we can do. Overall, I like what's happening, but I do need to come back for another another round. Hopefully third time's the charm. Because I don't feel, I feel like I painted a lot, but I don't feel like I really did much except bring the skyline down a little bit, which I like. And then, um, this red and browns down in here, I think is really nice. And I think that helps to articulate or warm up what's happening down here. So that was an insight, but yeah. Other than that, not I feel like not a whole lot got done. I did move this tree over, but the tree's still kind of wonky, so we'll have to play, figure out, play around with that. It's almost like it's too too fat. I just need to be patient. I have to keep telling myself that, though. All right, we've been at this an hour and a half, and I am to the point where I have exceeded or reached the edge of my capacity at this time. Therefore, I am going to take a break. You can watch me rinse these brush brushes real quick. Just taking all the excess oil out. That's all that's happening. I guess I can turn it back to myself here. That way I can say pretty quickly a good evening to you all. Let me take my towel here and just take up most of this. There we go. Then we take a regular paper towel. And, oh, where did my, oh, there it is. I was like, where did my Windex go? We spray a little bit there. And clean our glass. Wow, look at that. Try to get as much off as possible. And 
and I am going to begin working on this idea I had yesterday and see if I can do some drawings and be able to then explain to you what I want to do but look out for that in the next oh, month or two once I get some clarity on what I want to do then I can share it more or articulate it better all right let me turn this around get it back to the proper height it's crazy that I'm saying good night to you at 7.30 my time and the sun is just setting. That's super exciting because that means the days are getting longer, which I'm excited about. Okay, I'll show this to you kind of where we are. Whoops. This is the painting without any glare on it. So you can kind of see there we are, that's probably better. You can see where we are going. And it's getting there, it's getting there, little by little. Every time stepping to the easel is a lesson. So I want to say I want to say thank you for joining me this evening. Those of you that have stuck out through the entire thing, I appreciate you. Um, yeah, thanks for joining me. I will be, oh, 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 next week. I will not be here because I will be traveling and will have just gotten back in town. So next week we will not, I'm trying to think. Oh, I may be out a couple weeks, y'all, because I have to go to go out of town for business right after that. So I'm thinking next Monday and then I'll leave that Friday. So two weeks and come back that Saturday, Sunday. Let me look actually, so I can tell you all the actual. Okay, I will be out April, Monday, April 8th, Monday, April 15th, so I will be back in town the 22nd. So that is two, um, yeah, two weeks that I will not be with you and I apologize for that, but I will be out of town um, two different times and it just happens to span over the times when I usually do live streams. So I will catch you here again, April 22nd at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. I look forward to seeing you all then. Until then, you can connect with me on Instagram at Stephen E. Rice on Instagram. I usually post um, progress photos in my stories. I do progress, work in progress. Um, on my feed, I usually post progress once the painting is done. So feel free to join me there. Other than that, I want to say thank you again, and I hope you have a great couple of weeks, and I will see you back again April 22nd. Take care and have a good night, everybody.